Hello and welcome to part two in a series of wave crashing techniques um, that I use with fluid acrylic paint. I'm just laying down the base paint here and uh, welcome and enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to start with the sand layer here and in this corner we're going to start with a transparent yellow iron oxide this has a little bit of a shimmer iridescence to it what i'm looking for here is i did not mean to go over the edge but oh well just a pebbly sand in this corner and I'm just going to start with those two colors. Go ahead and swipe that in and down. Cleaning my palette knife in between the swipes here. I'm going to catch a little bit more paint on that one and not press so hard. that and I'm come back here and we get this area a little bit better. Caught a little bit too much pillow that first time around. It pushed too hard. And I think one more swipe down there on the end will do it. For the initial. That was backwards, but. You got the point. I'm trying to make a pebbly sort of sand base here. Um, and then we're going to build on that as we go here. Next thing I'm going to do is create the wave, um, which we're going to go this way with. And so I'm going to layer the turquoises and blues for the water here. And um, for the base blue, I want to do the teal, which is Blue Lagoon. Uh, this is by Golden. It is a opaque, and that's why I'm putting it on the bottom. Also, I just kind of want to run a couple streaks here with it. This doesn't have to be precise, just trying to get a layer down. A big loop over the side there. This area in the middle is all going to become like crashing wave area, but first I'm going to try to sweep the uh, the wave that's coming in. I'm going to sweep it out so it looks like it's kind of rushing into the the shore here. This next color is turquoise. Deep by Liquitex and Turquoise Golden. It is actually a mixture of an opaque and a semi-transparent. Love this turquoise combo. Love turquoise. Favorite color. Okay. And then I want to add some blue in here because water is blue, although it is very turquoisey in certain areas of the ocean. I do want a little blue in here. So this is TLP Indigo Wave. And then we have High Flow Turquoise. 
This too is by Golden. This is a fully transparent, or yeah, transparent. So I'm hoping like some see-through with this or undercurrent. And then just a titch of Mystic Blue. Um, this is a color shifting um, color that is made by Arteza. And it has like a base of turquoise green, but color shift with blue, which is fun. So a little bit of that in there. All right, and we're gonna go with the waves. And to do the wave, um, I'm gonna use this tool. It is a cake decorating tool uh, for frosting and putting curves in this side. I'm gonna go ahead and just coat the edge here with some cell activator just off to the side here. You can use your finger, you can use a tool. Either one works. Get a nice coat on there and then I just kind of make sure it's all on the edge. And then I'm gonna grab the colors and I'm gonna swipe in that direction. And those are my base lines there that I had kind of set up as a reference. 45 degree angle, just gently let that rest into the paint and pull all the way through and then you're going to start to see those cells begin to activate i'm gonna clean off my tool here and get ready for the next swipe so from this area down so I need more CA on my tool. Pick up right next to there and try to run it parallel. Again, wiping my tool off. Try not to carry any of the pillow paint over. Made that mistake too many times. Learn from my mistakes. And this one's going to go that direction. is coming in. Now we need crushy, 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 crushy all in here. So while that's kind of resting and settling, we got all this going on, I need to decide whether I want any more particular colors in here. And so um, I think I'm good. I think I'm just going to go in with the cell activator. I can always come back and add more later. This is the Shelly Art cell activator that I'm using all through here and throughout. colors are welcome here. I can re-bloom that if I don't feel like I had enough paint. But So mixing of brown, speaking of brown, I think I had a little bit of brown in there. Why you say? Because it's sand. I'm actually going to add not that. I'm just going to let these two settle back in and then we'll see where we're at. Might have been a little 
little too close on those first two because I see I brought up some pillow paint. So I might have to redo those, but let's see. It's a very thick turquoise. Another one of those right there with the flood with turquoise. And it's behaving the way it's supposed to, meaning it's supposed to pull those beautiful cells. Lots of paints on this to push it back in. I'm only adding the turquoise because as you can see, there's colors underneath already. So still sort of working fast here. Where else do I want a little bit of this bad boy stuff? Oh, I guess right there. Um, that's not a big deal. I can fix that um, for anybody that might be freaking out. <laughs> Just, I'll show you how to do it in a minute, but it's going to come off the canvas, I have a feeling anyway, so... pretty happy with all the crashy crashy going on okay um what do I want to do first I want this to run that way a bit and then bring it down and then that way and then stretch it out and just to deal with this guy right away I'm just gonna not let him exist way that I deal with that. Just put a little cell activator on a thing. Do a little drizzle. Do a little psh, psh. There you go. Cells will come in. If they want to. Okay. That way first. Ever heard, ever heard of moving your canvas around to get the paint moving first? This is what I'm doing. 
Also, if I would have taken it to the spinner at this point, I probably would have kept the shape.
we're gonna go to the spinner. Hey, the reason I like to move over to the spinner is to stretch out the paint, um, to try to get as much extra paint off the canvas while it continues to dry, um, to prevent additional warping, and also just to help stretch out any cells that might be in there and bring out any under layers of paint that wanna pop through. Well, if you made it this far, thanks for hanging in there. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos like these. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'm always happy to uh, try to walk you through what I know. Thanks.